What's up, folks? We are back with another week of Halo Infinite news. Today, we will talk about the upcoming Tenrai 3 event and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The containment event is now over. The next and last event for this season should be the Tenrai 3 event starting next week. This two-week event is expected to contain a pass with 10 free earnable rewards, with some of them being for the Yoroi Armor Core. We'll have more info on this event as it draws closer. Stay tuned here for all event and update news. Time for this week's Capstone Challenge. This week's Capstone Challenge requires you to win three matches in PvP. When completed, the challenge will grant you the Battle Ready Stance. Great Spartan Pose. Good luck to everyone going for the win this week. On to this week's shop. We got two new bundles and four returning bundles in the store today, with some even being on sale. Out of all the returning bundles, the Sky Marshall bundle is the first semi-weekly bundle for this week. The first new bundle in the shop is the First Responder bundle, which contains the Farkas helmet, the First Responder chest piece, and the Type HPE gloves, all for the Hazmat Armor Core. This bundle also contains the Yield for Shield weapon charm and the Flame Break armor coating. The second new bundle in the shop is the Exoglobin bundle, which contains the Exoglobin armor coating and the Duke Weapon Charm. Very nice store items today. Loving the Duke Weapon Charm. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite Promotions. A nameplate backdrop can still be earned with a purchase from the Wolverine X Halo Spartan Collection. By purchasing a pair of boots from this limited edition collection and signing up for emails from Wolverine, you can get yourself the Plasma Lock backdrop for Halo Infinite. After purchase, an order confirmation email should come through detailing how to unlock this backdrop. If you're the kind of Spartan that's always first to put their boots on the ground, consider purchasing a pair of these boots to unlock yourself this striking backdrop. Promotions are still available via the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitix emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Naftali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Gear Shop promotion, the Wolverine promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's community highlights. Artist Sasushi created this illustration of a Spartan with a sniper rifle and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see a Spartan posing with their sniper rifle in front of a black and white city backdrop. We really like the shading and elements of this piece. The Spartan looks great with their weathered armor and lethal sniper rifle, and we like the small detail seen throughout the armor and the helmet's visor. The city background is also super detailed and full of different urban elements, and we like the overall mute grayscale tone this backdrop provides to this piece. This Spartan looks prepared for some long-range urban warfare. To see this piece, as well as more fantastic work from Sasushi, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Perp created this render titled I, Spartan, and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a Spartan posed to resemble the robot from the I, Robot book cover. We really enjoy the lighting and colors of this piece. The Spartan looks great with their metallic armor, and we like how the environment lights glow across the entire Spartan suit. The Spartan's pose and the setting they're in is also amazing, and definitely captures the tone of the iRobot book cover. This Spartan looks ready to protect humanity at all costs. To see this render, as well as more extraordinary work from Perp, 
follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Andy created this render of Spartans and ODSTs on patrol and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see two Spartans on mongooses and two ODSTs with a cat in front of a gorgeous snowy mountain forest. We really like the setting and lighting of this piece. The soldiers look great with their various equipment and weapons, and we also appreciate the cute little feline friend they have also stumbled upon here in this cold forest. The light shining through the snowy trees also looks incredible, and the details seen on the forest and the mountain in the background look absolutely breathtaking. Even these soldiers can't escape the alluring charm of this cute feline companion while out patrolling this dense foresty tundra. To see this render, as well as more eye-catching works from Hanny, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you like to battle in overgrown abandoned facilities. This is Rat King by Halo Infinite Forgers Del Soto and Frenchies. This map takes place in a science installation teeming with lush foliage and is great for arena game modes. The worn down designs of all the structures and areas of this map are absolutely stunning. We especially like the ambient lighting seen in the many different areas of this map that flicker, shine, and cast eye-catching shadows amongst the many different play spaces. The map has many bridges and platforms to hop across gaps and to traverse the map with speed and ease. Players can find a sniper spawn in a lower hallway, an overshield and invisibility pickup on opposite sides of the map, and a gravity hammer found at an outer bed. Much more weapons and equipment can also be found scattered throughout the facility's many rooms, open areas, and hallways. Even though this technological facility now lays barren, it now serves as the perfect arena for Spartans to test their metal and might amongst its lush, broken-up ruins. To become the Rat King on this map for yourself, bookmark Del Soto and Frenchie's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you like to take a walk in the woods. This is Timberland Evolved by Halo Infinite Forge Team Halo Fun Time. This map is a remake of the Timberland and Ridgeline maps from Halo Combat Evolved and Halo Reach, and is great for squad battle mayhem. This reimagining of the classic Halo map is absolutely breathtaking. We like the design elements that harken back to the designs of the original two levels and all the new elements that make it fit into Halo Infinite's beautiful art style. The exterior and background details of this map are absolutely superb, and the contrast of the interior details of the two opposing bases and their array of foreigner lighting is breathtaking. Players can find sniper spawns on two opposing hills, invisibility pickups at separate road bends, and even a hydra and overshield spawn found together at the very center of the map. Although perhaps not intended, it appears there may even be opportunities to perform super bounces on this map if the right conditions are met. This forest may not be as serene as it once was with all these Spartans around, but it still stands tall amongst the chaos with its many hills and beautiful natural scenery. To make a speedy jump into this forest for yourself, bookmark Halo Fun Times map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you'd like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord link below. And feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Get ready for the Tenrai 3 events starting next week and for more updates to arrive as we approach Season 5. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Tenrai 3 event is almost upon us and more great stuff will be making its way into Halo Infinite soon. Get excited for more updates and events to arrive as we approach the end of the season. 
Enjoy September, everyone. We will see you all in Infinite.